And now for the parade of teams. 11, one Chris. 12, one Tom. 12, two Arian. 12, one ATL Raven. 12, one Premier Anne. 13, one Jessica. 13, two Dia. 13, three Chad. 13, one ATL Yola. 13, two ATL Heather. 13, three ATL Teresa. 13, one Premier Sarah. 13, two Premier Crystal. 14, one Kelsey. 14, two Kyla. 14, three Jim. 14, one ATL Kelly. 14, two ATL Emma. 14, three ATL Tish. 14, one Premier Kim. 14, two Premier Brian. 15, one Mickey. 15, two Katie. 15, three Ashina. 15, one ATL Stewart. 15, two ATL Aaron. 15, three ATL Pam. And 16, one Joe. 16, two Alex. 16, three Rachel. 16, one ATL Julie. 16, two ATL Kristen. 17, one Trina. 17, two Scott. 17, one ATL Rob. 18, one Sarah Michael. 18, one ATL Amy. Welcome to our virtual award ceremony. Um, I am super excited to share with each of you that Cobb Atlanta has just completed our 14th, maybe 13th and a half season, and what a different season it has been. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight while we celebrate our 37 club teams from this season. And I think we can all agree that this season is one that we will always remember. At times, Commitment Night, the CAJ Challenge, and our first tournament seems like they were ages ago. And at, um, as we hit the point that we had to close the gym, we were hearing from many coaches and uh, parents that their teams were just hitting their stride. And this has always been our goal, to hit our strides in mid-March and, and reach our pinnacle by the end of April. I know that we're all disappointed that we didn't get to see where these young ladies would go this season. And But I think we can say that we have learned a lot um, that we will transfer into future seasons from the last six or seven weeks. For the players, uh, they transitioned from managing going to school and coming to practice to doing online school and trying to keep up with their online workouts. Um, so they would be ready for when volleyball comes back, whether that's club or school season. For the parents, I think we learned patience as we became managers of our kids' schools while juggling our own work um, and their own, all of our other schedules. Specifically for Cobb Atlanta, we learned the multitude of ways we can use technology in the future and keeping all of our players to have to come from the gym for more stuff. For instance, to watch film, we are more comfortable with online meetings and we can set times with our teams to watch film moving forward. We have also come up with a system to continue classes for the mental part of the sport and hope to offer yoga throughout the season on a virtual platform. As we know, getting to the gym one more time during the week just couldn't happen. I think we will see a lot more digital meetings in the future as it will help our players to improve and save us all some time. At the end of this season, there are many groups that I typically thank for pulling off a club season because it is a team effort between our office, our parents, our coaches, and our players. I'm always grateful for the families of our athletes. When a player joins Cobb Atlanta, their entire family joins our club. I am so thankful and appreciative for all the kind words sent my way during this COVID shutdown. At the beginning of the season, you were all normal volleyball parents. You drove, you flew, you coordinated food. Some of you made team ribbons. Some of you made more ribbons. You made team boards. Um, some parents hosted team bonding and others coordinated community service projects. At the end of the season, you were managing internet connections, Zoom call schedules, and online fitness workouts. I know we are all ready for summer break and we have missed visiting with you, the parents in the gym, just as much as we have seen your daughters. I have enjoyed being able to connect with you more through our Facebook Live updates, which is something I think we'll be able to continue in future seasons in different capacities. Thank you for trusting Cobb Atlanta to teach your player volleyball, but also life lessons. And, and it's definitely a privilege to work with your girls and not something that we take lightly. 
The second group that I always like to thank um, is our coaching staff. Year after year, I say that the, we have the best coaching staff of any club, and this year they definitely blew it out of the water. They are knowledgeable, hardworking, and caring. And when we hit COVID time, they didn't stop in their stride. Um, we asked them to step up and host video breakdowns, team Zoom calls, and coach calls. I know that some coaches spent hours trying to figure out activities for your players to do on their team Zoom calls. Um, in our coach calls, they asked for help to better connect with your kids. And better yet, others stepped up with new ideas and helped all of us continue to connect with your kids during the shutdown. When our gym doors closed, their hearts did it. They wanted to be in the gym with your kids, but they also realized the importance of connection for these girls and especially for their age during a time of isolation. The Cobb Atlanta coaching staff is a family that provides a support system to their peers, and I couldn't ask for more than a coaching staff that loves your kids and this club. Thank you for always saying yes, and when we ask you to go above and beyond, and thank you for choosing to be part of our Cobb Atlanta family. Um, while we have many new additions to our coaching staff each year, I think we can all agree one definitely stood out this year. Um, I'm sure you all noticed her in the gym, and I'm th so thankful that after multiple years of conversations, Trina Braden joined not only our coaching staff, but also our office staff. Her presence has been invigorating, and her energy is infectious. I know that we all want to be back in the gym, and she, more than any of us, can't wait to be back in the gym with your athletes. When Trina and I started talking about start talking about CAJ, we get lost in ideas and conversations for hours. I could go on and on, but we are going to go um, more into about that later. But I know I speak for many of you when we extend our gratitude that Trina is part of our Cobb Atlanta family. For team parents, parent association parents, and food parents, thank you for your time commitment to your team in order to make the season the best it could be. We know that you put in extra hours when the season ended in person, you continued to meet with Sarah and myself, being um, relays of information to your team and helping your coach, coaches to continue to connect with your teams. You are definitely an integral part of our Cobb Atlanta family. And again, I thank you for stepping up. We look forward to giving you your end of season gifts at our senior drive by on Saturday. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge a few essential people during this time of our COVID shutdown. Our office staff has stepped up more than we could have ever asked, or I could have ever asked or expected. Um, some of them you guys might not have ever, might not know or even have heard of. Our virtual admins, Hannah Waltz and Sam Aldridge. Hannah is a former CAJ player and, a, and coach and a freshman, finishing her freshman year at University of South Carolina. And Sam is finishing her junior year at Georgia College and State. So while moving home during their school shutdowns, they went from create, Hannah went from creating one newsletter a week to two and oftentimes sent me multiple texts reminding me that I needed to write my intro and get that sent to all of you. Sam has moved from helping with tournament admin to helping process refunds throughout the season. Both have stepped up with the award ceremony and never balked when I texted them with projects at 10 p.m. over the last few weeks. And we are so grateful to have them as part of our office community. We also consist, or we consistently talk in our office about how amazing our younger staff members are. And this spring, Kat Majewski jumped right into the staff. If you don't know Kat, she is the assistant coach on 13 Chad, and she's finishing her senior year at Sprayberry. She single-handedly took over her social media during this time and has had her hand in almost every project we've done during the shutdown, including orchestrating the senior spotlight videos and creating virtual practices for any player that wanted to join. Additionally, she was here last night after AP test till about 1245, helping Kelsey complete stuff for our ceremony today. She has been working on the senior drive-bys for Saturday, and then there's so many more things I can't even list. We're so thankful that Kat has jumped in to help us out and that she will be at KSU next year, so she'll be able to continue on our staff going forward. Additionally, Sarah Peel joined our office in January and she became essential to the transition to the digital world. If you don't know, I like to come up with ideas and then assume we can do them and look to others assist me in the process. When I said I wanted live fitness with Kelsey talking and someone working out, Sarah figured out the technology and she actually did the workouts. When I decided we should move from Google Hangouts to WebEx and signed us up in a hot mess kind of way, Sarah took that on, figured it out, and trained all of our coaches on how to use it. Without Sarah's technology capabilities and the drive to knock things out, I know we would not have been able to provide you all the virtual content that we did. And I'm very thankful that Sarah is part of our team. 
Another essential member that stepped up was Kelsey Bennett. Kelsey not only creates your fitness program and pushes our athletes to be great, um, but if you don't know, Kelsey doesn't necessarily love technology. Yet during this time, she jumped right in with the rest of us. She single-handedly took over organizing the awards ceremony nominees, finalists, and voting for winners. She jumped outside of her comfort zone and created a script and was here with Kat last night creating that PowerPoint. Without Kelsey, none of this award ceremony would be organized. And we always say, great, good teammates do what's asked of them. Great teammates do whatever is needed. And Kelsey is definitely a great teammate and one that I'm forever thankful for. Recently, Sarah Richards uh, celebrated her seven year work anniversary in our Cobb Atlanta office. And during this sh shutdown, I realized that not seeing Sarah for 45 days was the longest in that seven years we had gone without being with each other at some point. Sarah always is, does what needs to be done and is fully committed to our Cobb Atlanta families and giving them the best experience we can. She has taken over communicating with our next and select parents, as well as communicating with all team parents throughout this season. She took on the senior projects with Kat in addition to her other responsibilities, and I'm always thankful for Sarah as a teammate and a friend. And as always, I always um, thank you to my husband, Scott, and to our two boys. I love that I get to call Cobb Atlanta my job, and I thrive when I'm at the gym. Having conversations with players, parents, and coaches, or being at a tournament for the weekend are things that I, I thoroughly love. All of these things occur on nights and weekends, so I'm th so thankful that I have a family that supports me and underst understands my desire to make Cobb Atlanta the best it can be. I also thrive on connection with our CAJ families, which is why we've tried our hardest to stay connected with each of you through our virtual platforms during this shutdown. Thank you for being patient with my extensive thank yous this year. This, situa this situation has definitely changed our office team for the better, and I can't wait to see what we can bring you in the future when we're back in the gym. A few quick other thank yous. Thanks to Helen Koger and 15 Ashina for doing the video editing on our senior spotlight videos. Thank you to Jackson Collier for always creating us the best graphics we need in a moment's notice. And thank you to Kelly Gullison for creating all of our amazing awards and keeping us looking sharp during the season. Um, I mentioned how I like to have big ideas and I look for others. And so a, a super big thank you to Stu Stuart Briscar and Jeff McGovern for being the brain power behind how to pull this event off. And an extra thank you for, to Jeff for bringing all of his equipment to pull off a professional production. Now on to celebrating the successes and memories of these girls. Well, we're going to present wins and top finishes and we are pr very proud of all of them. There are, very, there are many other things that make me proud to be part of Cobb Atlanta. Year after year, and I'm told by officials we know, we have the best refereeing teams. I was approached multiple times at Little Big South to relay this to us as well. Um, the willingness that our players have to give back to the community and to our next league, to do community bonding and donates to um, causes close to our heart are all reasons that I'm thankful to be part of Cobb Atlanta. There are many players that are, have played at Cobb Atlanta for their entire playing careers because they not only improved at volleyball, but because they made friends. Their parents made friends and this volleyball club felt more than a volleyball club to them. These are the real reasons I am, part of, um, I am proud to be part of this club with each of you. Now onto our gracious hosts for the third year, Allie Hurd and Stuart Briscar. Welcome to our first practice after COVID-19. Are you guys ready? I'm so excited, Coach. All right, well, let's toe up and do a CHA way warm-up. Come on, Coach. Come on, Coach.
And now, welcome to your Cobb Atlanta 2020 award ceremony with your hosts, Stuart and Allie. I'm Coach Allie. And I'm Coach Stuart. And we're your 2020 Cobb Atlanta. How? They said they can't understand us with the... But the CDC no. says we have to wear a mask and protective clothing. But the CDC, he's not here right now. That's right. Are you wearing pajamas? Are you wearing pajamas? No way, pajama party! Pajama party! Woo! Welcome to the 2020 Cobb Atlanta, Atlanta Award Awards Ceremony. Ceremony. Whew, it has been a long day. It has. Oh. And a short season, but we're here to present to you the award ceremony tonight. And this has been a long six hours. We have really kind of winging it, throwing it together, but we've put a lot into it we so, have. so we hope you enjoy it we would like to start off by saying we are very sorry if we mispronounce your names like I said we've only had a few six hours to rehearse this you know at 2035 we'll be saying names like Rona and COVID Charmin and Tissue get it Tissue. <laughs> like tissue, like tissue. Get it? <laughs> okay anyways we would like to start off the night by recognizing our four-year player awards there will be 17 of our players who have reached an impressive milestone. They have played for Cobb Atlanta for four years now. Thank you for your continued dedication to our club. They will also be re receiving this handy dandy bag with their name on it and a certificate. First up, we have Eileen Grochnikov, Maya Garcia, Hallie Kaiser, Helen Koger, Risa Wynn, Emma Duncan, Emma Stokes, McKenna Bailu, Lindsay Milligan, Megan Urquhart, Caitlin Grace, Laura Gettner, Paige Armstrong, Kristen Ross, Andrea Jones, Callie Miller, and Chambly Russell. This year we had a record number of nominations in all categories. We had 640 written nominations alone in over 200 photo and video nominations each. Thank you to everyone who nominated players, teams, and coaches this year. It is because of you that we were able to make this award ceremony possible. The next award is the Beast Mode Award for a photo. We asked for photos where our players are showing off their ultimate Beast Mode. The finalist for the 2020 Beast Mode Award is Michaela Middleton, Nyla Boswell, Elena Hoffecker, Caitlin Hinshied, Sophie Kate Chambly, Addie Island, Claire Jordan, Kate Luckett, Alicia Andrews, Alicia Holmes Terry, Christina Pratcher, Gabby Phillips, and Kyla Dowd. And the winner of Beast Mode is Alicia Andrews, Woo! 16 Alex. Way to go, Alicia. Next up, we have the Can't Touch This Award. This is a video award given to a team or a player with a video of a great defensive play to prevent the ball from hitting the floor. The finalists for the 2020 Can't Touch This Award are 13 Dia,
Would you look at that, Stuart? That's a long oh. rally we got going on there. Look at that play. Oh. Nice. 14, Kim. Oh. With the pass. Here's the set. And a sweep. Oh. Coming back. It's coming back. Oh, no. Oh, it's coming back nice again. Is 17 Scott. Woo! All right. Success on the court is important, but so is a player's attitude. This award will be presented to the athletes whose participation best exemplifies the true spirit of sports in athletics and in life. This year, 47 total nominations were submitted for Most Spirited. Two awards will be given for this category one for 14s and under and one for 15s and up. The finalists for the 2020 Most Spirited Award for 14s and under are Kiara Noblet, London Bales, Margaret McDougal, Sarah Bruni, Lucy Siegel, Megan Schultz, Tiromi Adiyinka. And the winner for the 2020 Most Spirited Award for 14s and under is Sarah Bruni, 14 Emma. Sarah's nominator described her as, Sarah is always a leader, strong and positive. She is not afraid to use her loud voice to rally her team to greatness. She is always encouraging her teammates, giving them confidence in themselves and each other. Woo, way to go, Sarah! Keep up the good spirit. <laughs> All right, and now for the finalists for the 2020 Most Spirited Award for 15s and up are Helen Coger, 15 Ashina, Lauren Giles, 15 Mickey, Audrey Brooks, 16 Joe, Haley Lewis, 16 Kristen, Christina Pratcher, 17 Trina, Kyla Robertson, 17 Scott, Sophie Vincent, 18 Amy, and Callie Miller, 18 Sarah and Michael. And the winner of the 2020 Most Spirit Award is, for 15s and up, Lauren Giles, 15 Mickey. Yay! Good job, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren is one of our team's true sources of positive energy. Her bubbly personality eases tension, and her many jokes help her teammates to pull themselves out of negativity. Good job to our Most Spirited. We'd like to take a moment to recognize our team parents. Team parents. Thank you so much for your efforts this season. A team's experience can be made by their team parent. 
and you all met once a month with Sarah to make sure you were the most prepared you could be. And you all did a fantastic job. Being a team parent is hard. You take the brunt of things, yet you are just the messenger from either your coach or us. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you, team parents. Next up, we have your You Got Served Award. This is also a video. Delivering a tough serve that results in an ace is one of the most satisfying feel feelings a player can have. This award goes to a video of an amazing serve or an ace. The finalists for the 2020 You Got Served Award are Addison Sparger, 13 Dia. Oh, good spot. Tumi Arinka, 13 Sarah. Ooh, right down the line, that was nice. Alexis Stubbs, 15 Katie. Ooh, cross court. Sydney Fleming, 15 Mickey. <laughs> Oh, Zandy Geiger, 15 mm -hmm. Stewart. Right. What's up? And the winner is Addison Sparger, 13 Dia. The next award is the Rookie of the Year written nomination. This award is presented to a first year club player one who has never been on a club team before, who demonstrated outstanding athletic performance and dedication. This year, we received 60 total nominations for Rookie of the Year. The finalists for the 2020 Rookie of the Year for 14s and under are Maxine Renders, L. Whitfield, Michaela Middleton, Lainey Danielle, Annalise Roberts, Brooke Lassiter, Sarah Schwartz, and Amaka Fourteen Tish. And the winner of the 2020 Rookie of the Year for 14s and under is Michaela Middleton of 13 Chad. Woo! Good job, Michaela. Michaela's nominators have this to say. Michaela began as a middle, and being her first club first year in club, she struggled, but she never quit. She is very athletically gifted, always positive, and had a desire to improve. By the end of the shortened season, she was hitting kill shots and blocking like it was her second year of club. Congratulations. And now, the finalists for the 2020 Rookie of the Year, 15s and up, are Elizabeth Buffalo, 15 Aaron, Bella Jessup, 15 Pam, Alicia Andrews, 16 Alex, Lula Tolsom, 16 Julie, Vanessa Johnson, 16 Julie, and Sophie Pinson, 16 Kristen. And the winner of the 2020 Rookie of the Year for 15s and Up Award is Sophie Pinson, 16 Kristen. Mm -hmm. Sophie's nominators had the following to say. Sophie has never played and just completely absorbed every instruction and direction given to her. She is insanely positive and by the end of our season, she was a force to be reckoned with at the net. Congratulations to our Rookies of the Year, and you'll be getting this handy dandy Rookie of the Year t-shirt. Now we are moving on to our setting awards. We want to recognize our players who attend setting sessions throughout the season and go above and beyond what is required. The following setters are being recognized for their efforts this season. Our first two setting award winners were selected by Coach Bree for their outstanding dedication and desire to improve themselves. First, we have the CAJ Way Award, presented to a setter that proudly represents Cobb Atlanta through their work ethic and gratitude, attitude, and gratitude. <laughs> the CAJ Award, Paige Armstrong, 17 Scott. Paige exemplifies leadership and a positive attitude in every training opportunity that comes her way. She is comfortable on the court and a natural leader. Next is the Commitment Award and is presented to two setters that are constantly seen in the gym, even on breaks, weekends, and optional sessions. They are always working to improve their skills. We have two players this year that received the Commitment Award. First we have Anna Bayorn, 14 Brian. 
Anna came to every single tryout prep in practice and play before tryouts. When the season started, she continued her commitment by attending every optional setting clinic and setting session over the holidays. Anna embodies everything expected of a truly passionate volleyball player. She is dedicated and leaves her all out on the court, whether it's at a team practice, a clinic, or the Silver Bracket Championship. I feel like so many coaches this year are better coaches for having her. Next we have Alexis Stubbs, 15 Katie. Mm -hmm. Alexis was extremely driven this season to take her game to another level. She attended setting clinics more than any other setter this season. Soon, she was mentally engaged the entire time. Her face would light up when she was given a new challenge, and it lit up even more when she conquered it. We are so proud of her commitment this season. Our next two setting awards have been chosen from a list of finalists. This is the quarterback award. The finalists for the 2020 quarterback award are Morgan Maynor, Bree Crockett, Lilla Golden, and Ella Burris. And the winner for the 2020 quarterback award is Bree Crockett of 12 Tom. Bree is a natural leader by example, but she also does a great job leading with her voice, which is something that typically younger athletes need time to develop. She listens and takes feedback and instruction very well and is extremely driven to become a better setter. Congratulations. And our last setting award for the night is the Most Improved. The finalists for the 2020 Most Improved Setting Awards are Olivia O'Connor, 14 Jim, Ivana Coker, 13 Jessica, Hallie Kaiser, 15 Katie, Eva Morlin, 13 Jessica, and Katie Duet, 13 Teresa. And the winner of the 2020 Most Improved Setting Award is Olivia O'Connor, 14 Jim. Olivia is one of the most loyal, passionate, and hardworking athletes. She comes to every single setting session and optional setting clinic offered. You can also find her taking serving, passing, and defensive clinics. When you walk into the gym and see her on the court, you know it's going to be a rewarding evening. Olivia has improved so much with her setting this season. She desperately wanted to learn to jump set and after a few clinics she was mastering like a college athlete. Olivia should never be underestimated. She's a force. Congratulations to all of our Setter Award winners. Our next awards are our team awards and the first one is the most improved as selected by your coaches. Each team's coaches have selected one of their players as most improved. This is awarded to the player who made the most significant improvements this season on their team. Katie Quinlan, Kelsey Galbraith, Brianna McVeigh, Cameron Downing, Addie Glass, Lainey Danielle, Kara Santabria, Michaela Middleton, Reagan Miley, Anna Abel, Peyton Benedict, Asha Desai, Zaria Jordan, Ava Garner, Ryan Pope, Lucy Siegel, Kendall Hutto, Vanessa Washington, Amaka Ali Jansma, Ava Maddie Muller, Mallory Zarder, Sophie Kate Chambly, Victoria Springer, Elizabeth Buffalo, Jessica Jenkins, and Madison Collins. You know, since it's been a short season, I've seen a lot of improvement from all of our players, so we're very proud for everything that you've done and accomplished. We also want to recognize Alicia Andrews, Olivia Patrick, Lindsay Heslin, Sophie Pinson, Chandler Alter, Jada Brown, Liza Dobbins, Andrea Jones, and Yasmin Harris. And now we'd like to take a moment to recognize our parent association parents. Parent association, this group of parents allowed us to have a pulse on what was going on within the club. We thank you for being the messenger to our meetings and helping communicate things to your teams and from these meetings. Thank you for your time you gave to meet with Jessica each month. Thank you, Parent Association parents. And now we'd like to move on to our team performance of the year, which Woo! is a written nomination. 
presented to the team who performed in the top performance in tournaments this season. We are excited to share the finalists for the 2020 Team Performance of the Year. They are 13 Dia, 14 Emma, 14 Kim, 15 Ashina, 16 Julie, 17 Trina, and 18 Sarah Michael. And the winner of the 2020 Team Performance of the Year is 17 Trina. Good job, Trina. The nominators describe their season. The young ladies of 17 Trina have demonstrated that they have everything it takes to compete consistently at a high level. The way they have come together this season is just amazing. The heat is a perfect name for this team. Their performance has been hot this season. They have consistently finished at the top of their divisions. 17, 17 Trina made it to the gold bracket three times during the season. They also won the bronze bracket of the Sunshine Qualifier Orlando and placed fifth in a tournament where they originally ranked 30th. They were just hitting their stride as the season came to a halt. And we congratulate 17 Trina. 17 Trina will be receiving Cobb Atlanta hats and a trophy. Next, we would like to recognize 16 players who have reached an impressive milestone. They have played for Cobb Atlanta for five years now. Thank you for your positive impact you have made on our organization. Olivia Boyle, Sarah Boyle, Ava Fiorelli, Caitlin Height, Megan Schultz, Kayla Konowski, Ella Burris, Brennan Thompson, Julia Huffman, Gabrielle Phillips, Alicia Holmes Terry, Kayla Robertson, Lauren Johnson, Sydney Lech, Meredith Howe, and Kiera Pardue. Our next award is the Best Game Face Award. Coach Allie. Let's see your best game face. Is that a game face or more like a model face? That looked uh, constipated? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got some toilet paper here, you know. This is worth about $500 bucks on eBay right about now. Yeah. It, it probably is. <laughs> you can't have this for all I need it. Best game face, go. That's it, that's the winner right there. That's all we needed. Thank you. All right, best game face of a player. We asked for photo submissions of a player with a serious, celebratory, or intense look on their face. The finalists for the 2020 Best Game Face Award are... Does this distract you? That's perfect. Keep it up. Okay. Bree McVeigh, Sarah Ann Matthews, Lily Marshall, Katherine Pearson, Gracie Keith, Madison Kutchke, Jada Brown, and Chandler Alter. And the winner of Best Game Face is Lily Marshall of 13 Teresa. Look at that game face. Intense. She is focused. All righty. Next up, we have our Not Today Award. We received many video submissions of excellent defense this year. This award is given to the video with the best dig or play on the ball. The finalists for the 2020 Not Today Award are Leah Goodlow, 14 Kyla, Sophia Brito, 14 Brian. Madison Kuschek, 15 Mickey. Abby June, 15 Katie. Phoebe Antonidas, 15 Stewart. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Great up, great up. Oh, yeah. Tess 
Smith, 17 Scott. Alicia Holmes Terry, 17 Scott. And the winner is Phoebe Antonitis, 15 Stewart. Whoop, whoop. Did you teach her that, Stewart? Um, sure, I'll, I'll take credit for that. <laughs> Congrats, Phoebe. You know what time it is? It's selfie time! <laughs> Here we go. Where we at? Where we at? Uh... We hope you guys were all in that. Yeah. We'll post it on CAJ it's later. It's be beautiful. With lots of edits. Now it's time for the most social written award. Player who posts the most about Cobb Atlanta volleyball on Instagram. A player is nominated for most social outwardly shared their love for Cobb Atlanta with their online fans. The finalists for the 2020 Most Social are Giselle Coey, Tumi Adeyinka, Sienna Carey, Abby Evans, and Lindsay Milligan. And the winner of the 2020 Most Social Award is Abby Evans of 15 Aaron. Way to go, Abby! Abby's nominators describe her presence on social media as Abby is always posting about how much she loves and misses Cobb Atlanta and her team on her Instagram and keeps up with the Cobb Atlanta post. Congratulations, Abby. You'll be receiving this Cobb Atlanta poppet socket. Next up, we have our longest rally video award. This video is of a long rally, which must last 10 seconds or longer. This year, our finalists came within tenths of a second of each other for the longest rally. The finalists for the 2020 Longest Rally Award are 14 Emma, 15 Katie, 15 Mickey, 17 Scott, and 17 Trina. And the winner is 17 Trina with 58.2 seconds of a rally. Congratulations to 17 Trina. The next award is the Comeback Athlete of the Year. This award is presented to the athlete who has overcome odds to succeed as a Cobb Atlanta athlete. Many of our, nominee, our nominees suffered from injuries or other setbacks, but they stayed strong and ultimately had significant impact on their teams. The finalists for the 2020 Comeback Athletes are Addie Glass, Eve Northrup, Maya Sickness, Kendall Cochran, Sydney Fleming, Ellie Boyle, and Michaela Mitchler. And the winner of the 2020 Comeback Athlete Award is Ellie Boyle of 16 Alex. Ellie's nominators describe her comeback this season as, Ellie went through two major knee surgeries during her 15s year. This year at tryout, she was not ready, but made it through without injury. She made the 16 twos team, when this year's season came to a close early, she was leading her team in kills. She has put a lot of work to come back and be a threat on the court. She's not 100%, but she's continuing to get there. And we want, and we want to take this moment to thank Pinnacle 
Orthopedics for helping our athletes return to the court. Thank you, Pinnacle. Good job, Ellie. Next up, we have our CAJ Challenge Video Blooper Award. Throughout the COVID-19 shutdown, CAJ posted challenges several times a week for players to participate in. Although players only seem to submit the videos of them doing their best work, there are a few outtakes out there that they seem to share among the club. Those players who have been chosen as a finalist for the CAJ Challenge video blooper are Coach Raven Watts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're supposed to stay on your feet. Absolutely. Emma Siglin, 14 Kelsey. <laughs> oh! That is awesome. <laughs> Way to keep your eye on the ball. Literally. Is she okay? <laughs> Riley Pruitt, 14 Kelsey. Oh! oh. <laughs> Noggin, dude! That, that must have been the toughest challenge. Emma Toro, 15 Mickey. <laughs> oh! Straight to the face. Couldn't get any better. <laughs> Is she alive? Yeah, she's not getting up. Emma? Emma! Is she there? <laughs> Someone call Pinnacle. <laughs> And the winner is Emma Toro, 15 Mickey, if she's still out there. <laughs> Somebody check on Emma for us. Congratulations. And the next award is, <laughs> that was awesome. We need to do that every year. I think that was a new award. The next award is Most Improved Fitness. This award goes to the player that has worked extremely hard and made significant strides in their overall fitness. They have also specifically made improvements in their fitness exercises that were tested at the beginning of the season. The nominees for the 2020 Most Improved Fitness are Olivia Hamilton, Kinley Ho, Taylin Lockhart, Megan Schultz, Tirumi Adayinka, Abigail June, Lauren McCabe, and Danielle Laduca. And the winner of the 2020 most Improved Fitness Award goes to Olivia Hamilton of 12 Tom. Woo! Let's go, Olivia! Get my fitness on too right now. There you know you what I'm saying? Just like that. Yeah. If you keep it up, you'll be Most Improved next year also. You know, I might just do that. <laughs> next up, we have our Team Awards for Coaches Award. Each team awarded the Coaches Award to the player who is always coachable and has a great attitude on and off the court. Ashley Hendershot, Olivia Hamilton, Maggie Roberts, Renetta Millen, Caroline Price, Sheila Peck, Sophia Tedador, Kate Sepris, Nyla Boswell, Claire Walter, Katie Duet, Tumi Adeyinka, Sydney Salgado, Nora Harmon, Caitlin Hindshed, and Danny Colger. Sienna Carey, Annabelle Gordon, Hannah Lumpkin, Aria Hannon, Elena Hoffecker, Sydney Fleming, Brianna Caldwell, Amber Lee, Marina Caesar, Josephine Tolsma, Carly Christian, Ella Fiorelli, Jillian Huffman, Caroline Bouet, Helen Stadler, Emma Anderson, Gabby Mota, Kayla Robertson, Kristen Ross, Callie Miller, and Lydia Scherholtz. Congratulations to our Coaches Award winners. You will all be receiving a Cobb Atlanta blanket this year. Next, we want to take the opportunity to thank, to thank Tank. Tank. Yes. Is that a new word? It might as well be. Let's add it to the dictionary. <laughs> Thank our food parents. If it weren't for our food parents, we wouldn't have mini muffins we and, pas and pasta. <laughs> it's true. We'd be stranded on the court with no energy. 
but mini muffins and pasta salad was my team's staple. So thank you, Food Parent. Thank you. Next up, we have our six-year player awards. Every year, we have a handful of players that have the privilege of recognizing for their commitment of six years to our club. Last year, there were only three people that reached this milestone, but this year, we will be recognizing eight players, five more than last year. You have all become recognizable faces to our CAJ coaches throughout the years. Thank you for your impact you have on our, you've had on our club. Ella Fiorelli, Emily Maddox, Madison Bonnabas, Kayla Dowd, Claire Andres, Lauren Watson, Michaela Mulqueen, and Renee Bissell. The next award is the Best Celebration of a Coach Photo Award. Celebrate good times. Come on. Uh. Show trial for American Idol. Absolutely. You Thank know they're you. doing virtual online auditions now. You don't have to go and in I person anymore. And I sound better on video, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we all love to see coaches celebrate when our teams do well. We've received dozens of photo submissions of a coach celebrating their team. Here are the finalists for the 2020 Best Celebration of a Coach. Chad Heath and Kat Majewski. Dia Barker, Laura Cunningham. Ashina White. Michaela Cherry. Stuart Briscar and Emily Francis. Alex Brown. Lisa McGuire. Trina Braden, and the winner of the best celebration of a coach goes to Ashina White. Look at that. She's about five feet off the ground there. She's got ups. Congratulations, Ashina. Next, we have our best celebration player. We love to see our players celebrate their team success with lots of energy. This award is given based on the photo submission of an individual player or players celebrating on the court. The nominees for the 2020 Best Celebration for a Player are Bree, Sam, Macy, and Maggie, 12 Arian. Ellie Joy and Michaela Middleton, 13 Chad. Charlotte May, 14 Kyla. Claire Bonds, 15 Ashina. Louisa Caesar, 15 Katie. Addie Island, 15 Mickey. Katie and Andre, Andrea, 16 Alex. Megan, Kayla, and Kyla, 17 Trina. And the winner of the best celebration by a player is Louisa Caesar, 15 Katie. Woo! Woo! Good job, Louie. <laughs> the next award is the best celebration of a team photo award. Similar to our last two awards, we are honoring a celebration photo of the whole team on the court. The nominees for the 2020 Best Celebration of a Team are 14 Brian, 14 Kelsey, 14 Kyla, 15 Ashina, 15 Aaron, 15 Mickey, 16 Julie, 17 Scott, and 17 Trina and the winner of the best celebration of a team is 15 Ashina next we have our brick wall award one of the most exciting things to see is a video of a fantastic block the nominees for the 2020 brick wall award are Bree Crockett and L Whitfield 12 Tom. Oh. Ava Garner and Emma Siglin, 14 Kelsey. Ooh, sorry, yes! Stop. Emma Toro and Riley Duncan, 15 Nikki. Dylan Delancey, 15 Stewart. Audrey Brooks, 16 Joe. 
<laughs> Alicia Andrews, 16, Alex. Jasmine Singleton and Jada Brown, 17, Scott. And Christina Pratcher, 17, Trina. And the winner of the Brick Wall Award is Audrey Brooks, 16, Joe. The next award is the Sportsmanship Award. This is a written nomination. This award is presented to the athlete that displayed outstanding sportsmanship throughout the season. At Cobb Atlanta, we hold our athletes to a high standard, and all of our finalists have gone above and beyond our expectations. Sportsmanship can be described by this quote from the highly regarded former football coach, Harry Shee. It is your response to winning and losing that makes you a winner or a loser. Good sportsmanship is one of the qualities of a player that coaches most admire. This year, we had 66 total players nominated for the Sportsmanship Award, 40 more nominations than last year. We will be giving two Sportsmanship Awards, one for 14s and under and one for 15s and up. The finalists for the Sportsmanship Award for 14s and under are Samantha Beatty, 12 Tom, Isla McLean, Ava Moreland, Sarah Boyle, Jayla Merson, Catherine Pearson, Annabelle Gordon, Addie McLarty, Caitlin Hinchie. And the winner of the 2020 Sportsmanship Award for 14s and under is Samantha Beatty. Woo! Eleven Chris. Samantha's nominators described her with the following words. Sam is always respectful to the teams we play and our teammates. She has a great attitude even when we lose. Congratulations, Samantha. And now the finalists for the 2020 Sportsmanship Award for 15s and up are Abigail Benham, 15 Ashina, Grace Howe, 15 Aaron, Zandi Geiger, 15 Stewart, Maya Mather, 16 Rachel, Emma Simpson, 16 Kristen, Ella Wildman, 16, Julie, Gabby Moda, 17, Trina, and Michaela Mulqueen, 18, Amy. And the winner of the 2020 Sportsmanship Award for 15s and up is Michaela Mulqueen, 18, Amy. <laughs> Michaela's nominator said, even in trying times, even when we were losing, even when we weren't acting as a team, even when we suffered defeat, she was always focused on getting better and shared no ill towards anyone. Congratulations to our Sportsmanship Award winners. The next award is the Best Celebration Video Award. This is similar to our photo awards. We are honoring the best video of a team or individual players celebrating on the court. The nominees for the 2020 Best Celebration Video Award are 13 Chad. Fourteen, Jim. Fifteen, Ashina. Fifteen, Stewart. And 16, Julie. <laughs> and the winner of the 2020 Best Celebration Video Award is 16, Julie. You know, for this next award, Stuart, I gotta get my cape on. We have the Unsung Hero Award. This is presented to the athlete who might not make all the plays, but displays great work ethic, character, potential, and serves as an example to their teammates. 
With over 70 total nominations for this award, we are excited to announce the finalists for the 14s and under. Sarah O'Connor, Mary Kate Atkins, Isla McLean, Reese Marty, Anna Byorn, Ashlyn Willis, Nora Harmon, Kelsey Wright, and Lauren Fitzgerald. And the winner of the 2020 Unsung Hero Award for 14s and Under is Lauren Fitzgerald, 14 Tish. She's always trying her best and listening to what people have to say, always wanting to improve. She is the unseen player gluing the team. She is always by my side in the game, sailing with me to cheer. She doesn't get down and upset, only looks for ways to get back up. The finalists for the 2020 Unsung Hero Award for 15s and Up are Maddie Bonds, Emma Toro, Sarah Jacobson, Lacey Youngs, Nia Duckett, Serena Sue, Caroline Bue, and Ashley June. And the winner of the 2020 Unsung Hero Award for 15s and Up is Sarah Jacobson. Hey, Sarah. Sarah's coach had this to say. Sarah is one of the hardest working players I have coached. She gives nothing but her best at all times. She is always challenging herself to get better. She is naturally left-handed, but is not afraid to switch it up and use her right hand if she knows that it will provide her a better advantage. Sarah is always in the right place at the right time, whether she's covering or transitioning. She is always one of the hard, I mean, loudest players on the court. Sarah deserves the Unsung Hero Award because while she may not always have the biggest play, she works hard at all times, not just for herself, but for her whole team. Congratulations, Sarah. Next, we have our Iron Woman Award. Players who go above and beyond in fitness and show significant strength and composure during fitness. The following players are finalists for the 2020 Iron Woman Award. Amelia Peterson, Nyla Boswell, Riley Pruitt, Alexandria James, Claire Jordan, Madison Collins, Lula Tolsom, Tess Smith, and Andrea Jones. And the winner of the 2020 Iron Woman Award goes to Tess Smith, 17 Scott. Each time Tess steps into fitness, she is focused on getting better. Tess works hard each and every fitness session and has done several extra sessions throughout the season. She is always going above and beyond of what is required. The next award is the team award for MVPs as selected by coaches. These are awarded to the players who made the most contribution on the court. Sierra Forbes, Bree Crockett, Ariana Luckett, Maxine Renders, Maddie Owens, Olivia Boyle, Addison Sparger, Lilla Golden, Madeline Dollar, Jayla Merson, Annalise Roberts, Anna Molas. Arlia McLean, Addie McLarty, Harper Mangine, Sydney Hardman, Naomi Reidners, Ryan Lacey, Dara Rodberg. I'm, I'm Manny Mince, Sarah Norazani, Madison Kuchka, Abigail June, Claire Bonds, Sterling Petsko, Carter Stretch, Bella Dressup, Emily Maddox, Brennan Thompson, Emily Lino, McKenna Bailu, Amy Simpson, Gabby Phillips, Paige Armstrong, Hannah Knight, Nina Williams, and Renee Bissell. Congratulations to all of our MVPs this year. The next award is the best game face. Here I go again. Game face, best game face of a coach photo award. We are awarding the best game face award to one of the coaches with a serious celebratory or intense look on their face. The nominees for the 2020 best game face for a coach award are Sarah Peel, Teresa Northrup, Aaron Francis Becca Rios, Mickey Height, Scott Hudson, Trina Braden Cole Doherty, 
and the winner of the best game face of a coach is Mickey Height. Look at that face. It's like she almost wants to eat the ball. She is hungry for some volleyball. Absolutely. All right. Next up, it's a good catch. Try again. Hammer time award. There are a few things more satisfying than getting a point for your team by putting down an amazing kill. We received dozens of submissions for this award. A video of an unstoppable kill. The finalists for the 2020 Hammer Time Video Award are Sophia Slavov, 13 Dia. Tommy Arinka, 14 Kim. Claire Jordan, 15 Mickey, is coming up next. Andrews, 16, Alex. They didn't have a chance. Not a chance. Audrey Brooks, 16, Joe. Jasmine Singleton, 17, Scott. <laughs> Chris Pratcher, 17, Trina. <laughs> That's my girl. Williams, 18, Sarah Michael. And the winner of the Hammer Time Award is Chris Pratcher, 17, Trina. The next award is the Best Coaching Duo. This was a written nomination. There are a few iconic coaching duos at Cobb Atlanta that are almost always seen together and complement each other's coaching style extremely well. When a head coach and an assistant coach make an excellent pair, the whole team is more successful. We are proud to share the following nominees for the Best Coaching Duo at Cobb Atlanta. Jessica and Alex, 13 Jessica. Teresa and Gwen, 13, Teresa. Jim and Sarah, 14, Jim. Kelsey and Heather, 14, Kelsey. Kyla and Gracie, 14, Kyla. Katie and Allie, 15, Katie. Ooh, ooh. Mickey and Michaela, 15, Mickey. Trina and Cole, 17, Trina. Amy and Jeff, 18, Amy. Sarah and Michael, 18, Sarah Michael. And the winner of the 2020 Best Coaching Duo is Teresa and Gwen, 13, Teresa. These two coaches work together so well. You can see it in the way they are friends. They make our celebration cupcakes together, together. They know each other's families and they work so well together to make our team happy and work hard. They know each other personally and their coaching style fits together so well that they are able to capitalize on that. And practices and matches are great for our team. They balance each other nicely. Congratulations to the best coaching duo. Next we have the Breakthrough Athlete of the Year Award. Presented to the player who made the best or more, most significant breakthrough in volleyball for the season. With 47 nominations for this award, we are proud to announce the finalists for the 2020 Breakthrough Athlete of the Year for 14s and under. They are 
Maddie Hurd, 11, Chris. McKenna Mozier at 12, Arian. Peyton Benedict, 13, Teresa. Ava Patap, 14, Brian. Lucy Siegel, 14, Jim. Ava Gardner, 14, Kelsey. And Allie Jansma, 14, Kim. And the winner of the 2020 Breakthrough of the Athlete Award for 14s and under is Ava Garner, 14 Kelsey. Ava's nominators described her as, Ava has absolutely blown me away this season. Ava played on a premier team last year and this year made the 14 ones travel team. She has been eager to learn all season and really put forth all her effort to learn from her coaches and teammates on how to play at a higher level. Congratulations to Ava. <laughs> the finalists for the 2020 Breakthrough Athlete of the Year Award for 15s and up, Sophie Kate Chambly, Mallory Zarder, Nia Duckett, Chandler Alter, Corey Mills, Keeley Goodlow. And the winner of the 2020 Breakthrough Athlete of the Year Award for 15s and up is Sophie Kate Chambly of 15 Ashina. Sophie Kate started the season as a DS and it was quickly realized that her talents could also be developed elsewhere. She began working on hitting and blocking and really shined. She was officially made middle blocker and controlled the court in the front row. She learns quickly and doesn't get beat by the same ball twice. Congratulations. Next we have our Jim Rat Award. These players really put in the work to improve. We are proud to recognize six players who attended the most clinics and open gym sessions this season. And the winners of the 2020 Gym Rat Award are Samantha Beatty, 11, Chris. Samantha Carroll, 12, Arian. Louis Caesar, 15, Katie. Olivia McCord, 15, Stewart. Josephine Tolzma, 15, Era, And Lula Tol Tolzma, 16, Julie. The next award is Extra Sweat Fitness Award. This award is presented to players who attended more than three extra fitness sessions beyond what was required. This season we had 21 players who dedicated more time than required to fitness in order to take their volleyball game to the next level. Caitlin Cowitz, Kinley Ho, Addie McLarty, Caitlin Height, Megan Schultz, Nora Harmon, Liliana Gal Galegas, Ryan Pope, Danny Kluger, Claire Jordan, Kate Luckett, Lauren Giles, Abigail June, Lauren McCabe, Emily Maddox, Madison Collins, Maya Mather, Gabby Phillips, Lindsay Milligan, Paige Armstrong, Tess Smith. Congratulations to the Extra Sweat Fitness Award winners. Next, we would like to recognize our big sis and little sis teams. Every one of our club teams has a big sis or little sis team, and most good together at the beginning of the season. However, few teams continue to develop a strong relationships with their sister team throughout the spring as well. We want to recognize the best big sis, little sis duo in our, in our club for the their consistent encouragement for each other. The winner of the 2020 best big sis and little sis teams are 15 is Sheena and 12 Ann. Their nominator describes this duo as, the big sis team really loved on the little sis team and made them each feel special whenever they saw them. Big sis team gave them pointers and even made a hype video for the little sis team to watch before their very first tournament. Now we're gonna take a moment to recognize our player council. Sophia Santaro, Sarah O'Connor, Amelia Peterson, Ivana Coker, Ellie Joy, Brooke Schaefer, Eve Northrup, Sarah Ann Matthews, Isabella Cora, Annalise Roberts, Addie McLarty, Caitlin Height, Charlotte May, Ashlyn Willis, Annabelle Gordon, Lauren Fitzgerald, Tatomi Ainka, Lamani Massey, Ansley Evers, Lauren Giles, Madison Kuschek, Brianna Caldwell, Olivia Haynes, Olivia McGord, Carly Christian, Ella Burris, Amy Simpson, Rihanna Winyarzak, 
Lindsay Milligan, Paige Armstrong, Meredith Howe, and Lauren Watson. And now we have a video from our Player Council President, Lauren Watson. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Watson. I am on 18 Sarah Michael, and I've done player council for four years, and I'm the president this year. I started player council my 15th year to really just kind of put myself out there and work on my leadership skills, and just kind of like have a voice in the club and meet new people. And I would definitely say that I was able to accomplish that. And one of the big things that helps this year that we like brought in that was new was we read a book. So we read Dare to Lead this year and we had weekly book discussions on what it means to be a leader. And we really put an eff emphasis on the idea that like everyone is a leader in their own way. And so that was really great. And um, we've had a lot of opportunities to do like fundraising for the club and um, just like different service opportunities around the club. And so um, a few years ago, we raised money for New Lights at McCluskey, and there's just like all these different little things that Player Council gets to do every year that really just, it makes you feel like you have a voice in the club, and it's awesome. Thank you, Lauren. Our next award is our Miss Cobb Atlanta Award. This is a written award. Miss Cobb Atlanta is one of our most prestigious awards. It is presented to athlete who shows pride in playing for Cobb Atlanta on and off the court through involvement with the club beyond just a member of a team. She may attend extra fitness sessions, extra clinics, post frequently on her social media about CAJ, be a member of player council, and volunteer her time. We are excited to announce the finalists for the 2020 Miss Cobb Atlanta. Annabelle Gordon, Charlotte May, Emmy Simpson, Paige Armstrong, Gabby Phillips, Lauren Watson. Before we name our winner, we would like to share the nominations for each of our six finalists. These players have all had significant impact on our club this season. Thank you for your involvement. Annabelle Gordon. Annabelle is very spirited when it comes to Cobb Atlanta activities. She is on the player council and gives updates on what the meetings were about. Annabelle is always at extra clinics and motivates her other teammates to attend clinics and other activities at Cobb Atlanta. I always find posts on our social media about Cobb Atlanta, and Annabelle always seems to be hyping CAJ to everyone. She is very proud to be part of Cobb Atlanta. Charlotte May. Charlotte always supports Cobb Atlanta no matter what. She never gets down and brings her team up when they need it. She does an excellent job on player council and constantly posts about CAJ on her Instagram. Charlotte is always there for her team and on and off the court and supports her teammates with everything. I see her working really hard at fitness sessions and during practices. Charlotte is the best fit for Miss Cobb Atlanta because she has taken so much pride in being a player at Cobb Atlanta. Emmy Simpson, 16 Kristen. Emmy is 100% dedicated to her team and her club. She encourages her teammates and helps them to learn new skills and drills. She feels a sisterhood with her teammates and clubmates and maintains relationships with current and former teammates. Emmy feels her teammates' disappointments and victories with them. She is a true leader on her team, team captain for the past two years. Emmy has served on the player council and exec committee for two years. She cares deeply about Cobb Atlanta and has a true passion for volleyball. Her goal is to promote her team, her club, and her sport whenever she can. Paige Armstrong, 17 Scott. Paige is one of the most incredible people I have ever met. She always greets everyone with a smile and genuinely cares about those around her. Paige is, a very, is very proud to be part of Cobb Atlanta and shows this through her actions. She has been very dedicated. She has been a very dedicated player since she joined the club four years ago. Paige always gives 100% effort in everything that she does, whether that is on the court, in fitness, or being a great teammate. Gabby Phillips. Gabby Phillips is a perfect representation of Miss Cobb Atlanta. She is an incredible person, player, and student. She is a young lady that, we, that any coach would love to have in their program or on their team. She is dedicated, kind, talented, loved by all, involved in all aspects of her community, works in other areas at Cobb Atlanta, and she is just great. Gabby knows what she stands for and never backs down. Lauren Watson. Lauren, what do you say about Lauren? In all the years that I have worked with youth, 
over 30 in total, I have come across a dozen or so that stand out. They are special people, not because of what they can do, but because of their character and true person that they are. Lauren is overall such a great person both on and off the court. She has an excellent work ethic, great attitude, and is always present. She has been a role model in the club since she started. She has been one of the faces of CAJ, whether on the court in the, or in the store or in player council. Lauren always has a smile on her face and is willing to help. An absolute joy to be around. And the 2020 Miss Cobb Atlanta recipient is Lauren Watson, 18 Sarah and Michael. Woo! Congrats, Lauren. Let's watch a video message to Lauren from last year's Miss Cobb Atlanta, Claire Tillug. Will Will That was really bad. <laughs> Congratulations, Lauren, for being the 2020 Miss Cobb Atlanta. I'm so happy that I've gotten to know you and play with you. You're an amazing player, and you're so positive on and off the court. You're a leader, and that's seen through everything you do, including player council, working in the store, and you overall just want to make the club the best it can be. You always set an example as to what Cobb Atlanta volleyball players should be, not only to younger players, but to your teammates as well. You're so deserving of this award, and I love you so much, and I know the club will miss you next year, and so will I. Congratulations again to Lauren Watson for winning Miss Cobb Atlanta for 2020. The next award is the Individual Performance of the Year, which is a written nomination. This is presented to the athlete who has an outstanding performance in an individual game or match. We are excited to share the nominees for the 2020 Individual Performance of the Year for 14s and under. Sierra Forbes, Caroline Price, Ellie Joy, Natalie Inks, Olivia Boyle, Emily Hall, Aria Hannon, Harper Manjean, Dar Rodberg. And the winner for 14s and under individual performance of the year is Harper Manjean. In the block and roll gold bracket match, Harper's team lost the first set against AL Juniors 25-23 and were down 18-8 in the second. Harper had a 16-point serving run, and the team rallied to 24-18, eventually winning 26-24. In the third set, her team was down 12-8, and Harper had a 7-point service run to close out the match, 15-12. And the finalists for the 2020 Individual Performance of the Year Award for 15s and up are Abby Evans, Riley Marty, Sarah Jacobson, Madison Butatatabus, Kyla Johnson, and Kayla Dowd. And the winner of the 2020 Individual Performance of the Year Award for 15s and Up is Riley Marty, 15 Katie. Riley's nominator tells us of her amazing performances. Riley was placed on her team as a hitter. Quickly into the season, she was asked to play middle, a position she did not want to. She was named the little middle by the team and parents. Riley played her best personal game in Tampa against the A5-15-3 team with a front row of players over six feet tall. Not only did she block their hits, but she did it multiple times. Congratulations to all of our Individual Performance of the Year Award. The next award is the Play of the Year Video Award. Most of us have at least a few memories of that play from this season. The play that turned the tide of the game, won the match, or was amazing to watch because of the sheer speed and power displayed by our athletes. The play of the year is a video of a single play or performance to be the most remarkable, significant, or impressive this season, where the athletes on the court clearly gave 110% effort and it paid off. The finalists for the 2020 Play of the Year Award are 14 Kelly, Fourteen Kyla.
Large, enter 17 Scott. Seventeen Trina <laughs> And the winner of the Play of the Year Award is Fourteen Kyla. Congratulations to Fourteen Kyla. Next we have the Athlete of the Year Award. Another one of the most prestigious awards, our Athlete of the Year Award is presented to two athletes who demonstrate the competitive spirit of desire, dedication, and determination, leading themselves to the top of the competition and serving as an inspiration to their teammates and those around them. One athlete from the 14s and under and another from the 15s and up will be chosen from the list of finalists. We are honored to share the finalists of the 2020 Athlete of the Year for 14s and under. They are Brianna McVeigh, Lila Golden, Ni Nyla Boswell, Sydney Salgado, Annabelle Gordon, Sydney Hardman, Noemi Reidners, and Liliana Galagos. And the winner of the 2020 Athlete of the Year for award for 14s and under is Lila Golden, 13 Chad. I have really been in awe of Lila this entire season. I remember her at practice and plays and tryout preps at the beginning of the season and something about her really stood out to me. She was willing to play any position that was asked of her and had a great attitude doing so. As I have seen her throughout the year, she has really proved that she is a true athlete and a volleyball player. The finalist for the 2020 Athlete of the Year for 15s and up, Claire Bonds, Louisa Caesar. Madison Kuchke, Carter Stretch, Emily Maddox, Christina Pratcher, Gabby Phillips, Hannah Knight. And the winner of the 2020 Athlete of the Year Award for 15s and Up is Gabby Phillips of 17 Trina. Gabby Phillips exemplifies Athlete of the Year. She is the only player that never comes off the court. She's a captain, a total team player. She is an ace in the classroom. She creates plays and she wins. I think what sets Gabby apart is that she is her team's biggest fan, but she also owns her weaknesses and learns from them. She is extremely reliable and Cobb Atlanta is better because of her. She is loyal and extremely talented. Congratulations to our Athletes of the Year. Next we have Team of the Year. Presented to the team who demonstrates the competitive spirit of desire, dedication, and determination leading themselves to the top of competition and serving as an inspiration to the rest of Cobb Atlanta teams. We are excited to share the finalists of the 2020 Team of the Year. They are 12 Arian, 13 Teresa, 14 Brian, 14 Jim, 14 Kelsey, 14 Kim, 15 Mickey, 17 Trina, and 18 Sarah Michael. And the winner of the 2020 Team of the Year is 14 Kim. 14 Kim's nominators said this, 14 Kim has worked so hard all season. With only one practice a week, the girls are always in the gym wanting to be their best. They showed in their very first tournament with it being like one day, their spirit never sunk. In the end, they climbed to the very top and won. 14 Kim has made amazing friendships and formed a family. Congratulations to 14 Kim. And now we move on to the CAJ Points Chase competition. This season, our teams once again participated in the CAJ Points Chase. This competition is a great way to promote friendly competition between our club teams. Points were earned through perfect player attendance, tournament finishes, fitness, and much more. We are happy to announce the top three finishers of the Points Chase from the 2020 season. In third place, is 13 Teresa. Second place is 13 Chad. And first place is 14 Kelsey. 
the top three finishers will enjoy cupcakes as a team this Saturday, and 14 Kelsey will have a team outing at some point when it is safe. Next we have the Head Coach of the Year Award. Cobb Atlanta is a lucky and so many peaceful impact coaches that have a profound effect on their teams. This award is presented to the head coach who puts the team before themselves, works to improve the skills of every player on their team, and teaches life lessons in addition to volleyball skills. We're excited to share the finalists for the 2020 Head Coach of the Year. They are Dia Baker, Jessica Fetter, Brian Jansma, Jim McDormut, Kim Nordine, Ariane Terry, Mickey Height, Stuart Briscar, Alex Brown, and Trita Braden. Also, Amy McClellan. And the winner of the 2020 Head Coach of the Year is Trina Braden. Trina's love for the game transpires on how she coaches her team. Not only does she teach volleyball skills, but she motivates her team as a whole. The great quality that Trina has is that she motivates every player at CJ, CAJ to do their best. Players at Combat Atlanta chimed in and said, She is a sweetheart. If you've had the chance to be a part of Coach Trina's life's team, you are truly blessed. She cares so much about your success. She truly believes in putting the team above herself. She never loses faith in the team and will push you to be your best self. She also gives us great advice. At dinner, I will never forget her words. One piece of advice I'd give you guys is that life will always get better no matter the situation or circumstance. It will get better. Congratulations to Trina, Head Coach of the Year. And now we have a video of when Trina found out she won Coach of the Year. now for the assistant coach of the year. Our assistant coaches have a significant role on their teams, without which a team would not have functioned as effectively. They are very important to the team's success in many ways. We would like to recognize some of the most effective assistant coaches this season. Our finalists are selfless leaders, putting the team first, and they work to teach both life, life lessons and volleyball skills. We are excited to share the finalists for the 2020 Assistant Coach of the Year. Kat Majewski, Autumn Cohen, Sarah Peel, Jenna Killian, Stephen Dow, Michaela Cherry, Celeste Walton, and Cole, Cole Doherty. And the winner of the 2020 Assistant Coach of the Year is Sarah Peel of 14 Gym. Being a tremendous leader and inspiration to our 14 gym team, she joined us after the season had even started, but jumped right in and got to know the players and parents very quickly. She has always offered to help in any way you needed, and she brings an energy and a family feel to the team. She knows her volleyball and is always offering coaching instruction to the girls on a team and individual level. She has been a great as asset to Coach Jim as well as Cobb Atlanta. And now we have a video of Sarah finding out that she won Assistant Coach of the Year. Next we have our Seven Year Player Awards. We are proud to recognize four athletes that have made Cobb Atlanta part of their lives for the last seven years. These players have been with us since their 2013-2014 season and we have the pleasure of watching them grow into the powerful young women that they are today. 
These athletes truly represent what it means to be a member of the Cobb Atlanta family. We are so proud of the amazing things that you all have done, both on and off the court. We are presenting these players with a displayed jersey shadow box. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to volleyball and Cobb Atlanta. We know you will continue to do great things. Congratulations to the following athletes. Ellie Boyle, 16 Alex. Claire Torwilliger, 18 Sarah Michael. Lily Kitchens, 18 Sarah Michael. Peyton Lackey, 18 Sarah Michael. And now we would like to recognize our juniors and seniors. We will start with the juniors. Meredith Howell, Maddie Nichols, Rebecca Strauser, Chandler Alter, Kyla Dowd, Sophia George, Kayla Johnson, Brooke Lowen, Lindsay Milligan, Corey Mills, Gabriella Mota, Gabrielle Phillips, Christina Pratcher, Megan Urquhart, Jada Brown, Laura Ginter, Caitlin Grace, Alicia Holmes Terry, Lauren Johnson, Kayla Robertson, Jasmine Singleton, Tess Smith, Maya Welch, Liza Dobbins, Anna Igo, Hannah Knight, Maddie Miller, Nicole Papel, Kristen Ross, Marley Schultzberg, and Angelica Thomas. You will all re be receiving a cup with a monogram. And now for our seniors. Sydney Letch, Addie Goad, Andrea Jones, Lily Kitchens, Peyton Lackey, Callie Miller, Chamley Russell, Claire Terwilliger, Meredith Lauren Watson, Nina Williams, Renee Bissell, Keeley Goodlow, Yasmin Harris, Ashley June, Abigail Landtrip, Michaela Mulqueen, Kira Pardue, Lydia Sherholtz, Sophie Vincent, Kat Majewski, Haley Hutchins, and Kendall Guthrie. Congratulations to our juniors and seniors. You will all be receiving these cute rain jackets with your monogram. We also want to recognize our nine graduating athletes that are committed to playing college. Good luck on the next step of your volleyball journey. Chambly Russell, Georgia Southern University in Statesboro, Georgia. Callie Miller, Georgia College in Milledgeville, Georgia. Lily Kitchens, Georgia College in Millersville, Georgia. Meredith Jap Kima, <laughs> Suwanee in Suwanee, Tennessee. Nina Williams, Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Lauren Watson, Center College in Danville, Kentucky. Andrea Jones, Oberlin College in Oberlin, Ohio. Addie Goad, Kennesaw State in Kennesaw, Georgia. Claire Terwilliger, College of Coastal Georgia in Brunswick, Georgia. Well, Cobb Atlanta, that concludes our 2020 Cobb Atlanta Awards Ceremony. We want to say thank you for letting us be your host. And we know that we messed up on a lot of your names. But again, we love all of you. And we can't wait to see all of your beautiful faces again. And I have no idea how this ends. So. And we're out. This is it. <laughs> I hope to see you soon. <laughs> where, where did Allie go?